Hi there, this is Scott with Hilux Optics. Today I wanted to talk to you about a quick fix to an issue that occasionally comes up in these internally adjusting scopes. We're going to be teaching you how to reset to optical center. To do that, first I'd like to talk you through how it is that these scopes actually function. As you can see in this older unertal style mount, the scope tube is floating inside of here, pressing up against the turrets. Meanwhile, this spring is pushing the scope tube back up against the turrets, keeping pressure on them and actually making your adjustments the adjustments you're making. As you dial this, you may notice that the scope tube body itself is moving. If you push this to the extremes, there's a chance that the scope tube is going to contact one of the walls of this mount. It's easy enough to see if you're doing it here. But in these scopes, where there are things like magnification and other aspects built inside of this tube, hitting these walls, you may not be able to see it, and it may cause a lot of mechanical havoc if you try to use your scope when you're at that extreme end. So, over time, someone thought it would be a good idea to take that externally adjusting system and build a tube around it. This works largely the same. In here we have what's called an erector unit. The turrets go here, I've gone ahead and removed them. As you work these turrets, this erector unit is getting pushed up, down, left, right, however it is that you happen to be adjusting it. And meanwhile, there's a spring here, much like in this mount, that's going to be pushing that inner tube up against those turrets. If you happen to push this, let's say, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and then try and dial your elevation. Imagine looking inside. You're trying to do this, rubbing it up against the inner side of that scope tube. The erector unit is going to get a little bit of damage if you try and push that too far. To resolve that, we are going to move that inner tube to the very center of the outer tube so that we have as much clearance as we can. After that, go ahead and reset and re-zero your scope, and you should be working just fine. Right here, I have a long eye relief scope, two to seven power. In scopes with a smaller outer tube, this problem is going to come up a little more often just because you have less room to work with. For these turrets, I have 50 MOA of travel on each. That's 25 in each direction, up and down, 25 left, right. Much like changing a car tire, I'm not going to want to put all 25 on each of these at the same time. Instead, we're going to go ahead and step it a little bit. I'll do five at a time on this one. We're going to start, take the pressure off of that spring, move it all the way up and all the way to the right. These are a quarter MOA click. And that is going to be a lot of counting that, honestly, I don't want to do right now. You can count this at home if you feel like it, but I'm just going to go ahead and look at the big numbers up here on this pad. So, five, five, ten, ten, fifteen, fifteen, twenty, 20, now 25, and 25. Now that inner tube, the erector unit, should be floating right in the middle of this outer tube. Good way to check that. No dragging. We're fine. I'll re-zero this scope later. Moving on, we have here the Pentalux 4 to 20 first focal plane. This has 80 MOA of adjustment in 10th increments. And that's even more counting. So again, I'm just going to be looking at these big numbers. Let's take the pressure off the spring, move it all the way up and to the right. Yeah, it'll take a little bit. Ooh. So we are pretty close on the windage to the extreme. Good thing we're resetting this. Now, and 
and a little bit more. Forty and forty. Cool. We'll go ahead and re-zero this one later as well. Now, hopefully, that should solve the problem you've been having if you notice your zoom is getting stuck, even if you didn't notice whether or not you got to the extreme on your settings. If that doesn't end up solving your problem, go ahead and give us a call and let's see if we can fix your scope another way. Take it easy.